All right, so according to the new reports, um, given the news that James Harden might be interested in joining the Phoenix Suns or even staying in Philly because they're still trying to compete for a championship, the Houston Rockets, who've been desperately looking for a start, have been targeting Kyrie Irving. Free agent this summer, uh, Kyrie Irving is probably going to look for a max dollar and uh, his market is questionable. I do believe that a man that just got done averaging 27, five and six will still have a market. Do not believe what the media tells you. Someone out there will sign Kyrie. He's not gonna be blackballed out of the league. Uh, no one will disrespect him like that. But yeah, the market is definitely not what it should be for Kyrie. So I believe that he may actually um, look into that situation. If for example, the Lakers do not sign him. Um, you also got to keep in mind the fact that uh, just like here in Dallas, Houston is a almost no state, uh, t um, no state, no no tax state. Sorry. Uh, therefore, you know, uh, financially, when you make that much money, it makes a lot of sense to go to one of those cities. And uh, from the Houston side, I think this move makes more sense than James Harden because assuming obviously you get Kyrie to buy in, I believe that Kyrie impacts winning more as a star, as a solo star, as the main star of the show that James Harden at this point of his career. Now, if it was prime, uh, prime James Harden, you take James Harden any day of the week because prime James Harden would be able to bring you to the playoffs by himself, right? Uh, even uh, get you a high seed in the playoffs. You will get home court just because James Harden is out there. But I do not believe that this version of James Harden can actually go out there and impact winning um, because of his lack of efficiency and his lack of, um, of a consistency, in my opinion. I do believe that Kyrie Irving, um, Ime Udoka will have his hands full with Kyrie. Uh, especially if it's a situation when he's the, lead, the leader of a young man, although he's grown ever since the Celtics stayed. The last time we saw Kyrie being the leader of a young squad, they made the playoffs, but they, they, they had the several reports that, you know, there was some rumbling inside the locker room and everything. So, yeah. And I also believe that if you're a star player, you see Kyrie signing to the Rockets and you see James Harden start signing to the Rockets, you probably feel like, hmm, I'd rather play with Kyrie at this point than James Harden if I'm interested in winning. If winning is the agenda, uh, I'd rather have Kyrie as my co-star than James Harden to win. Don't matter what the, the headache that Kyrie can be and everything, I believe the ceiling uh, of a team with Kyrie being the number two or the co-star is higher than uh, the one with James Harden. Uh, both players are somewhat injury prone. Uh, both players, uh, I believe, uh, saw their best their best year go by him. Uh, they are Gary is still in his prime, but you know, from an efficiency standpoint, you gotta look beyond beyond the stats. Just the impact that he has on winning has been better before. Uh, I believe that the carry version that was on Cleveland, for example, if you pair that with Luka Doncic, they make the playoff, and now they miss the playoff. So yeah. But uh, this is still, for me, this is the first domino if the Houston Rockets are going to do anything. Because by hiring Coach Mi Yudoka, this is not a, real build, a rebuilding coach. And he would not stay a long time if you're not able to provide him the star. So you have to start somewhere. And I believe Kyrie makes some sense. This is not like the, the main superstar that would target, obviously. It's better names out there on the market. But given this uh, free agency coming up, with uh, the best names being guys like Fred Van Vliet, Chris Middleton, James Harden, and all that. Yeah, man. Kyrie is probably the bigger fish, in my opinion, out there. So I wouldn't be mad at it if you're the Rockets. Uh, now, if you look at the young players, man, if Kyrie gets there, I believe Jalen Green has to go. You got to pack him up, you trade him, you use a pick, and you maybe get another star player. Uh, Jalen Green has a lot of upside, although his uh, hygiene has uh, not been good in the league. His reputation is not even that great, but I believe that a lot of squads will be interesting in a young scorer that would just believe that, okay, if we put him in the right situation, he's going to be great. So maybe you, you monitor the position of, uh, you know, guys like Bradley Bill, if he's uh, unhappy and everything. Thing. And yeah, you, you, you pack young players, picks, and then you go get a Bradley Bill, and now you're talking a little bit. That probably might still be slim in the playoffs or actually make the playoffs because the, the West East dip, you're going to have the Lakers, you're going to have the Clippers, you're going to have the Warriors, the Nuggets, the Kings, uh, the, the Grizzlies. That's already six teams, right? And then you're in the play. So it's definitely going to be deep, a fight. But yeah, you need 
to start somewhere, and I believe Kyrie is, an, is a decent start. I won't call that a great start, but a decent start to actually build um, your franchise in Houston. And now, the, the other star that they would have to target needs to be a veteran and needs to be a culture setter because I do not believe that Kyrie is a culture setter and James Harden is definitely not the culture setter in Houston. The man would literally go back out there and just have fun because he's literally the king of age now, right? So you do not build a culture around James Harden at this point of his career either. So anyways, that's my take about the potential Kyrie to Houston move. Get in the conversation. Give me your thoughts about all I had to say. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Love you.